nutrition based plants and the nutrition you already learned in the previous chapter also that is the mode of taking the food by an organism and the utilization of that food okay in the body so we call it as the nutrition as we already know. okay so the previous one is the plant nutrition and today we are going to discuss is the animal nutrition okay that is the nutrition in animals Okay, so these nutrition in animals are divided into, you know, we can divide it into the around the three types of the nutrition. What are they? They are say the what are called the herbivores. Okay, next is the carnivores, and another one is the omnivores. Okay, there is the omnivores. Okay, so this animal nutrition, okay, so we only need more the nutrition. So nutrition is the most of, okay? Or you say it is the most of by an organism. And Okay, 
So here in the example, you can write the human beings, okay? Okay, so some human beings, you can write down this part. Okay, and the uh, next thing is the one you can write that is uh, another type of sodium. What we can call them as the, uh, we can call them as the parasite. Okay? Number four, so we can include this parasite. Okay, so this parasite. Okay, those. Okay, so here. In this case of the, this parasite, we cannot say that the uh, those animals and all. Okay, we can say those organisms. Okay, we still. Okay, inside the body of the. Other organisms 
okay, those organisms, okay, which lives inside the body of the other organisms or in yes, yes. animal species. Okay, inside the body of the other organisms or animals. Okay. And get their food. Okay, and get and get their food from the host. Okay, from the host animals or the, or the organisms. Okay, and from on that parasite. Okay, so here are the examples of the parasite are in this is the tip one. Step ones. Okay. So you know the step ones. Okay. So we we'll live inside the body of the, you know, well, inside the body of the, and even the animals also. Okay. And uh, inside the body of the others, uh, animals are also living. Okay. So step ones. Or uh, is it normal ones? Brown ones and all you know. They live inside the intestine of the animals, okay? Inside the intestine of the animals only they used to live, you know? And this step one is very, very dangerous, you know? This step one, they generally live on the, you see, just like generally the pig, okay? The pig, they used to eat the all those kinds of the food, whatever it is found in the entrance of them, whatever, okay? So, uh, they are in their body, these step ones used to come. And uh, what happened when these step ones Okay, is living in their body. What happened? This step one never die. Okay, so step one is very dangerous to see and all. Okay, so their body is just like this one only. There is a small, small sections is there. Okay, small, small sections are here like this. And this step one, what happened? If it is cut here, if it is cut here or even here, okay, this. Porcine will become a new tip one. This portion will become a new tip one, and this also will become a new tip one. That capacity is there for this tip, uh, tip one. Okay, and even this tip one, that's why see they will not die. Okay, if we cut also, you know, if they live in the body of the animal, and if they come to the brain of that animal, then. What will happen? The persons will die. Okay, so the persons will die. Okay, so that's one only. Okay, yeah, this is the one called the parasite. Okay, and uh, others one also, others also we can write. There is one. Okay, scavengers. Okay, scavenger. Okay, so number five point I will write here scavenger. Okay. So scavenger are those animals, okay, who feeds on the dead animals, okay. Those animals who eat the uh, what you call the feed on the animals of, or you see the dead animal just simply, uh, just simply we can say, okay, yeah. And they are also called as the predator, also we can call, okay. So number five is the. Scavenger, okay. And C L, what you call the B and G R, no? Okay. Those animals, okay. Those animals, uh, yeah. Those animals which eat, okay. Uh, which feed on the, yeah. Which feed. On the uh, this is the dead remains of okay, dead remains of uh, let's say animals we can say okay, so dead remains of the dead animals okay, dead remains of animals let's say okay, 
Yeah. Thus, the invariant which fits on the dead remains of the elements. Okay. So they are called as the what are called? Uh, scavengers. Okay. Example will be coming just like the crow, vulture, and all. Okay. It's a cat and all. Okay. Uh, yeah. Those animals which fit on the dead remains of the animals. मगर जाने रहे इस dead remains of the animals जो किसने खाने के बाद remain ही किया है that is by the predator. Okay. That's why we say you know tiger and lions. Okay. Tiger and lions they used to kill. Okay. And they used to eat there. And after then the some dead remains are remaining. Na. So with that one only they feed. Okay. Those animals which fit on the dead remains of the Okay, animals, okay. Mm. Okay, so example, just simply. Okay, example, just like crow. Okay. Don't show. Okay. And the jackal. Okay, so this one. Okay, so these animals, these are the animals. Okay, so who live, uh, who feed on the what they call the uh, the dead remains of the what they call the uh, animals body. Okay, okay. <coughs> now we are going to come to the mode of the nutrition. Okay, so now understand. Uh, scavengers and all and if you have any questions you can arise to your questions okay so now let us go to the animal nutrition okay what it consists of and what are the organs okay what are the organs that are used in the animal nutrition okay now uh. Hello. Let us write down this one. That is the animal nutrition. Okay. Ah. Uh, but animal means that here generally we are going to come for the human nutrition. Okay. So. Ah. Uh, animal nutrition. Okay. So here animal nutrition includes. What it will include, okay. The first of all, the food have to take now, okay. The human nutrition includes uh, the intake of our food, okay. So intake of the uh, food, okay, and the utilization. In the body, okay. So what does the animal nutrition include? Uh, yeah, include. What is that? That is the animal nutrition include the intake of the food and the utilization of the food in the body, okay. And the utilization in the body, just simply I write. Okay, so yeah, this is the what uh, we have to know. After the other one, we are going to discuss that is the human digestive system. We have to go. Okay, the human digestive system and the, what are the organs? Okay, needed. Okay, or required in the human digestive system. Okay, you know, human digestive system. You know, due to the uh, from where it started. You know, okay, digestive system all. It, Starts from the mouth. Okay, human digestive system starts from the mouth because we take the food, okay, and we put inside our mouth, and then after then what it comes when we put the uh, food in the mouth with the hands we pick up right, and then we chew it inside uh, your the mouth, okay, and then while chewing time here what happens? Different phenomenon happen inside your mouth. Okay, so what happens there? That is the when you chew the rice or any food, then what will uh, what it will produce? It will produce the sugar. Okay, so that means just keep in mind that any kinds of the food it contains the glucose. 
okay and when we keep on chewing and chewing then what will happen it will give you the sweet taste the taste of the sweetness okay it will give okay showing that it contain the glucose okay then our tongue that is the the from the tongue down of the this one uh, and under the tongue here saliva that is the used use to say the tube also right so saliva is produced and this saliva mix the foods okay and that is called the mastication also okay so it thoroughly it mix with the food and then after that it's swallow okay our tongue puts the food okay inside our food pipe that is also called as the esophagus okay food pipe is called esophagus and uh, through the esophagus the chew food okay it will comes down slowly and slowly okay and uh, what happens when it comes down slowly then at last it will reach okay at time after the this food okay and the esophagus coming and it will fall down into the our stomach okay and when it's reached to the stomach what will happen from our stomach to all okay so here digestive juice okay not only the stomach wall but from the uh, liver also okay they are uh, producing all this kind of the uh, digestive juices like the bile juice okay and they help to break down the food into the small pieces okay help to break down into the small pieces and then after then it goes to the small intestines okay in the small intestines small intestine is the very long okay uh, yeah and it is a long journey and it takes the uh, uh, around see, to digest the food it takes around the uh, four uh, three to let's say five hours and all okay so when it comes to this time okay what will happen most of the digestion takes place in the small intestines okay all the digestive juice will be produced there and uh, most of the digestion takes place and soluble food particles they are absorbed okay they are absorbed through the, our body okay through our body blood vessels and undigested foods okay along with the water it will go to the large intestine okay and uh, in the large intestine absorptions of the what are called the water is takes place by the body and then after absorbing the water whatever these excreta or there is a waste material now okay when you eat an apple don't think that all are useful okay some part are not useful okay so it comes out okay and to the rectum and at last it will go through the anus okay as an excreta that is we used to go for the toilets downloading right in the uh, what you call in the toilet now so that's it okay so this is a brief story about the that is the human what is that digestive system okay so this is animal nutrition and what i'm going to give you is the uh, human digestive system okay and uh, here or elementary channel also can say okay yeah uh, is the human digestive system okay human digestive system okay human digestive system this is the heading okay and uh, one more thing here you have to listen you have to understand that here see after disconnections of the this class means after 40 minutes it will disconnect automatically okay and then you have to rejoin the class again now let us come to the human digestive system okay human digestive system okay human digestive system okay human digestive system of 
Okay, I'm talking about this product and uh, it also having some process out there. Okay, in the human digestive system or in the human digestion, it can choose of the thumb stem. Okay, just like the ingestion. Okay, absorption. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and uh, ligation. Okay, so like that, around five steps are there. Okay, but here together, I'm going to give here what? That is the human digestive system and uh, its organs. What are the organs? Okay, of the human digestive system. That one first I'm giving you. Okay. So human digestive system consists of the following organs. What are they? Number one is the buccal cavity. Buccal cavity. Okay. The buccal cavity is nothing that is the mouth. Okay. Our mouth is also called as the buccal cavity. Okay. And then we are in the second point what we come. In the mouth, we put the food, right? At the time we chew and all, right? Up to then, what it comes? It comes to the esophagus, or you just say food pipe. Okay, so it next is the esophagus. Esophagus, okay, G U S, okay, or you just say food pipe. Okay, our esophagus is also called as the food pipe. Okay, and then number third point. How uh, where it will come from the esophagus? It comes down to the stoma. Okay, it will come to the whole stomach. And then where it will go? In the number four, from the stomach, the food will go to the small intestines. Okay, it will go to the small intestine. After then, in the number five point, after the small intestine. <coughs> The food will go to the that is the undigested. Okay, the most of the digestion takes place in the small intestine. I told you before. So, and uh, here in the number five points, the food undigested food, and along with the water, it will go to the large intestines. Large intestines. Okay, it will go to the large intestine. After the large intestines, here. Actually, here it goes to the rectum. R E C T U M. Okay, rectum is the place. Okay, in your books and all is not given. Okay, rectum is a place where the undigested food in the form of the stool. Okay, in the form of the stool is the stored there in our body. Okay, and then uh, here if we want to go for number two also, we can. Okay, this is for some time now. Okay, we can keep it for some minutes or some time because here in the rectum we can store it. Okay, but if you have the rectum problem, okay, your rectum is spoiled, then if you feel now to go for the toilet, then now, now itself only just you will pass. Okay, you will do the toilet. Okay, there is, you cannot go, you cannot wait anymore. Okay, so that's okay. okay so rectum is a place where the undigested food in the form of the stool is stored. Okay, and number seven, that comes to the anus. Okay, so anus here, five, um, is to the anus here, and is past, right? Yeah, so these are the protocol that we can say The organs of the human digestive systems. Okay? Yeah. So you write down and now we are we're going to count here some of the digestive tubes. Okay, which are help. Okay, or later that is some of the organs which help in the digestions. Okay? Man digestive glands, okay, which secrete digestive juice. Okay. Okay, I'll wrap. Finish right? Okay, so I'll wrap from here. So now. Okay, so here are organs. Only for glands. Okay, all that you will simply can say that the, the man that is. 
We already discussed the topic about uh, the organs of the human digestive system. Okay, buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. Okay, and now going to come the main digestive glands. What are the main digestive glands? Glands are those organs in our body, the part of the body which produce the digestive juice. ओके हम लोग का बॉडी में क्या करता है जैसे कि डाइजेशन होता है ओके मगर खुद अपना से डाइजेशन हो सकेगा क्या दैट क्वेश्चन नो ओके सो आवर बॉडी का अलग अलग जगह से क्या करता है डाइजेस्टिव जूस ओके जो हम लोग का फूड को फैट को डाइजेस्ट करने के लिए प्रोटीन को डाइजेस्ट करने के लिए ओके तो ऑयल को डाइजेस्ट करने के लिए ना तो अलग अलग जगह से अलग अलग ये क्या निकलता है जिसके डाइजेस्टिव जूस निकलता है ओके सो वन आर ऑर्गान दैट ऑन यू आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओके द नंबर फर्स्ट द मेन ऑर्गान और द मेन डाइजेस्टिव ग्लैंड आर ओके नंबर वन पॉइंट इज द सिलिवेरी ग्लैंड ओके सिलिवेरी ग्लैंड ओके दैट इज अलेवा ओके ओके फ्रॉम अवर सेलेबा या व्हाट इट इज प्रोड्यूस दैट ऑन ओके फ्रॉम द सेलेब्रेटरी ग्लैंड इट प्रोड्यूस द एमाइलेस ओके सो व्हाट इट प्रोड्यूस व्हाट इज द सेलेब्रेटरी ग्लैंड व्हाट इट प्रोड्यूस दैट इज द एम वाई एल ए एस टी ओके दिस एमाइलेस एमाइलेस इज द डाइजेस्टिव यू सी द जूस ओके सो व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस इन अवर even the mouth itself okay so from the saliva okay saliva contain the amylase this is an enzyme okay which helps in the digestion okay and second one is that liver okay just say the the liver also we can say okay okay from the liver what it is produced okay it is uh Yeah, from the liver it produces what is that? Uh, bile juice. Yes, B I L E, bile juice. Okay, so bile juice is produced, and you know this bile juice is stored in the our what is that? Gold bladder. Okay, gold bladder. So now, right? So the gold bladder in the gold bladder, this uh, bile juice is stored. Okay, yeah. बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट वट कॉल डाइजेस्टिव जूस है ओके या एंड नेक्स्ट इट विल कम टू दवर मैन ओनली वी आर डिस्कसिंग हियर ओके वी विल डिस्कस द पैंक्रीज ओके सो नंबर थर्ड वन इज द पैंक्रीज ओके सो फ्रॉम द पैंक्रीज ओके वॉट is produced okay pancreatic juice that's called as insulin okay from the pancreas it produces the insulin okay so you already heard about the insulin okay so actually you know this insulin help it's already produced in our body you know if our body produce the less or the more amounts of the insulin okay if it produce more or less amount of the insulin then the person is suffer from where you know what you know the person is suffer from the uh this one sugar there is a diabetes okay you may heard about the diabetes patients and all okay now it is it is the patients like patients okay i'm very common okay the very common cause of the the sickness okay diabetes and all so the persons cannot take the sugary substance sugary foods even the meat also cannot take and all right so this is what this uh, very uh, dangerous kind of the what i call the sickness on you okay this diabetes and all okay so why or uh, when it happens if the insulin that secreted from the pancreas is more or if it is less okay then the person is suffer from the what is that diabetes or sugar patient also is to call right 
sugar patient okay so they used to be the sugar patient all right so that's when only yeah these are the main digestive glands okay and uh, uh, yeah main digestive glands of the, our human body okay so these things we have to know okay and then now what we can discuss uh, uh, okay in our uh, organisms okay so in our body okay human digestive system we're going to come here okay and also it's already only but the nutrition okay what are the steps of the nutrition bolega so okay animal nutrition what are the step of nutrition that comes the ingestion ingestion is the process of the taking food okay taking food by the organism in the mouth okay so we na log khana ko aang mein dal kar to nahi khata hai na right so we put the food in the mouth part na but for us by how you used to eat the like dog no na so dog so they don't have the hands okay they do not pick up just by the mouth they used to eat na but we humans we pick up the food with the help of our hand palm and uh, we eat right here right so that's why yeah so here the the first process is called the ingestion next is the digestion after eating the food that is the start digestion digestion start from the mouth just keep in mind okay so here let us learn the nutrition okay you must know that human nutrition is a very complex okay so humans or I said animal nutrition no problem not only the human okay animal nutrition is a complex process okay human nutrition or animal nutrition is a complex process okay involving the the following okay involving the the following steps okay what are the steps number first step is what that is the ingestion i n g e s t i o n okay ingestion okay then what is ingestion taking of food taking of food in the mouth Okay, taking off food in the mouth. Okay, it's called ingestion. Okay, the taking of, taking off the food in the mouth is called ingestion. Okay, second one is that digestion. Okay, second one is the digestion. Okay, some of you are not keeping mute to yourself. Okay, let me. you okay so this is the the uh, taking of food in the mouth is called the uh, ingestion and digestion okay okay digestion is the process of uh, breaking down breaking down of food okay the process of breaking down of food into the simple form okay the breaking down of the food into the simple form okay simple oh yeah simple uh, yeah simple form is not only simple form okay it's called okay what they call digestion okay the food we eat is very complex you know okay it cannot be digested in the simply okay so it needs a different step different processes like the salivary glands okay or amylase and uh, from the liver uh, many kinds of juice and also this stuff so that's all are required okay so number third one is that absorption okay Okay, there is a absorption. Okay, 
the process of absorbing okay the process of absorbing the yeah, the process of absorbing the digested food okay inside the body okay uh, yeah that is the absorption okay the process of the absorbing the uh, digested food inside the body okay inside the body it is called as the what we call absorption okay after absorption what will come the assimilation assimilation is the process of the absorbing the food and the uh, utilized in the body that is uh, for our body growth for the maintenance of the our body cells respiration pumping of the blood circulation excretions and all for all those process here the food is required right so all those things it should come here in the number four of the uh, this complex process of the our digestion of food number four is the assimilation okay assimilation okay it is okay so it is the process of okay absorbing okay from the absorption also it is part okay it is the process of absorbing the digested food okay and its utilization okay and its utilization in the body okay for the life process for the life process we can say okay that means that the food that digested food we have to consume in your body and uh, we use it for the different process now okay so for the respiration the breathing you are doing breathing now if you don't have the, any food in your body you cannot breathe also properly okay if you don't have any food you cannot think also properly okay so all those things is done by the process of the assimilation after eating the food will digest it absorb and uh, that absorb food the soluble food it is used in the body okay by the our body cell okay in the body cell there is a, you get energy it will break down into the smaller pieces again it will produce that what is called energy carbon dioxide and water also. right so like that when we do you feel the warm right okay that warmness is produced due to the breaking down of the food okay the food absorbed now it is break down again in the our body cell and also some water vapor are produced if you talk if you do like this in front of the mirror you will find that some water drop it because it produces the water also and also carbon dioxide sa sorte same carbon dioxide nikal jata hai na that's all yeah so for the life process oh okay so this one and the next number is the what is that ejection next number 5 is the e g e okay so e g e l g i o n okay ejection okay so is the okay it is the process of okay it is the process of removing okay it is the process of removing the undigested okay removing the undigested food from the body okay kahan se 
through anal okay through the anal here the the undigested foods they are removed regularly you have to remove regularly in a day twice time early in the morning and in the evening time okay at a time only so your body our body can live a healthy life okay because we are eating the food twice a day right so we have to remove all those the waste as well also the food you eat an apple all the apple part of the apple if you take it a, a piece of the meat don't think that all the that piece that you eat is all are useful in our body no some person some person is there okay person okay some person is there that is not uh, useful in our body okay so they have to come okay out of the, our body so and it will stuck in our uh, ns and that through the ns only we pass okay so we have to remove it regularly okay so this is about the uh, process of the our this complex uh, digestion process okay and what are the things that uh, is required in our body okay so this is for uh, okay today's class and uh, i hope you understand all these classes and uh, if you have any uh, questions and uh, any things you want to clear the doubt you can ask now anyone have any inquiry any doubt stand out you can ask now because the time is going on uh, i think you have some other classes also okay everyone okay fine you understand jessica and all dixon and all so you don't have any uh, questions here yes 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 bongam how does the carnivores get a balanced diet okay you know these carnivores they used to eat the uh, all those flesh okay all those flesh only okay so and that flesh that animal okay that means say for example a deer okay so the, what does this deer eat before the deer eat the plant isn't it they eat the different kinds of the plant and uh, inside the deer's body it store the different kinds of uh, they, they take the different kind of plant and that nutrients are stored in the body of these uh, herbivores animals right and then it contains the all the nutrients right and that animal say the carnivore say the tiger when the, this tiger eat these what are called these uh, deer okay so he get a nutrient that is stored inside the body of these uh, herbivores that is the uh, what are called the deer okay so like that only he get the uh, uh, the balanced diet okay but you know the balanced diet the mean it means that we know that the diet which consists of the different components of the food as we know isn't it different components of the food are contained in that particular type of food okay so uh, but all these carnivores will get their balanced diet from all those uh, food that that means so from the herbivores they eat now from them only they will get okay and uh, it is not uh, sure that all of them will get the uh, perfectly balanced diet and all okay maybe some lack of the, some kinds of the nutrients surely will be there okay and that nutrient so they can make up okay from by drinking water also okay because uh, from the water also some minerals we are getting okay we are getting some minerals like that all those animal are also drinking the water and all right isn't it so lies it only okay so not for any other uh, like uh, they have to drink the milk regularly or not like that okay but when they are small they used to drink the milk from the mother right so from there also that is the nutrient required for their life okay so it's like the two uh, make the bone healthy and all okay so they already got okay so lies it only bonka understand
you can understand okay so any other questions others okay so if not then i will conclude the classes and uh, all these things you have to note down properly okay and if not then i will give you the link there in the our school app also okay so uh, you can go through that one and uh, you can write the nice the again okay okay then uh, time is going now and uh, for today this is the uh, for this chapter number 2 the first day class is over and uh, we have to go on the second day okay the chapter is not complete when it complete i will give you the not next day surely will complete Okay then all the students bye bye okay and uh, take care and uh, stay at home and uh, be safe okay then bye bye